Hey everyone, this is uh, Professor Tennant. I am doing a demo on the wet into wet technique. I have a few things to show you and uh, let's get started. So first I wanted to show you some examples of this technique. It worked in unison with other techniques. Wet into wet, we work with wet paint or clear water and you're dropping in or you are brushing in other color into it and those bleed together. Whenever one area touches another area that is wet, one area touches another and then they can bleed or spread out into each other as well. And so you might even get some uh, areas that are softer and then areas that have um, some hard edges as well. So if you kind of hit and miss those areas, okay. It's used for clouds, it's used for um, fog, uh, it's used for expression, um, expressive means to create your artwork. Uh, another uh, example, uh, I have a few books around here. This is John uh, Koser, Watercolor. Uh, book. Here, uh, the technique he shows um, bleeding some color together here at the top, you know, with line strokes going uh, vertically, and then an area where some of the lines were allowed to bleed together. There's hard and soft edges, which can be uh, somewhat um, abstract and suggestive of nature or whatever it is that you want. Yeah, I just thought this was a, a good example. I did another little demo here. Tiny piece of paper. <laughs> uh, it's just a, a little watercolor pad. So something like this, um, you know, a couple of colors allow, allow them to run together and dripping some uh, colors in. And then others, these blooms here, that's what we call them, a bloom, dropping a little bit of water into somewhat wet. It doesn't work completely unless it's starting to dry and then um, water pushes those particles apart. You can um, uh, prop up your, I've got a little box here to prop up my tiny a uh, little composition here. And I've got a couple of colors that are pre-mixed and you can see here it's quite strong. Uh, uh, somehow I obtained this um, old brush that was cut off and it's a really good one to try to uh, um, mix the paint up uh, well with it. Okay. And uh, and then another one, a really strong, uh, I have a few blue colors that I've um, mixed together to make create this one. But again, it's uh, mixed together so it's a stronger mix. Don't be afraid to mix up plenty. Uh, you can always cap this off like something with a lid um, or if it dries, like this dried and it's been sitting here for, I don't know, eight months. <laughs> First I'm going to try um, dipping into uh, the water because what I want you to see here and I'm gonna paint this across. Okay and if I squeeze out um, a little bit of the water here and just pick up a little bit so that it's damp Okay, and then pick up some of the strong color. And I want you to see how it works when we just do a, you know, a stroke across. Let's pick up some of the blue. Okay, and I don't have the, um, the water all that saturated. Like I said, I picked up some of the puddles but you can see how much it spreads out, okay? And then as it dries, you know, it's going to change and you can already see it's still spreading out 
and it depends on how dry or how wet uh, some of the areas are because some areas will be have puddles and some uh, will not and in fact maybe if I take take and another swipe of I'm gonna get rid of some of this water here okay let's go over here a little bit so you can see I'm gonna take off some of the uh, water off of the brush and this is still a little damp right here I'm gonna go right across again in the same area uh, and you can see that uh, underneath it was it was fading quite a bit so if you really want it to be strong you want to uh, mix the paint so that uh, there's quite a bit of pigment in it now it should not be like sludgy and super thick but it still needs to have a lot of pigment in it okay so you using your um, brush one of the things that I want to do is work back into it kind of like clouds let's let's see what we can come up with okay and I'm going to go along that edge where there was a little bit of water so it's slightly damp okay and I'm gonna get a little bit here where um, we've got kind of a cloudy day and go we'll come along with a brush in clear water you can see here uh, the water does get um, dirty pretty quick and okay now some of the areas i'm not really touching okay so uh so that the white of the paint or the uh the white of the uh, paper and the um you know the the color uh i still have a little bit of um hard edges peeking through now there are some things that you can do working back into this you don't want to manipulate it too much because it can get really muddy and overworked so i'm going to add some color i mean some um, clear water down in here uh, because i want to actually pick up some of it so adding more to it here and maybe pulling um, a little bit out from some of these other areas it's still wet and i can also um drip a little bit let's see if we can get a drop there okay and you can see <laughs> you can see the pigment is moving around right here okay and it's it's actually dropping now uh why do i you know prop up the end of it i still like being able to use a little bit of gravity now yes i'm working back into this but i'm mainly going in and uh with my brush cleaning it out with clear water uh, squeezing out some of the um, water and paint and picking it up now i'm not brushing over it a whole lot okay maybe in a couple of little areas picking up a little bit more let's see what happens out here and i'd like a little bit more um out in this other area here okay let's add a little bit more okay for a cloudy sky effect okay now uh you know to do something a little like this this is a good kind of sketch and practice now with clouds say the underneath of a cloud you you're not going to get the sunshine um, on it that's why i have some of the tops of the clouds where they are um, actually 
you know, uh, it's got the sunlight there. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this purple underneath. You can see me dabbing it a little bit. It's still, you know, wet enough that I can work into it. And I don't want a whole lot. Adding a, a slightly different color, even if it's still a blue color, maybe you, you use it muted, or maybe you add a little bit of um, purple under it. Okay, um, that can uh, make it so that it's, you know, we we know that objects with the lighting on it, with the sunshine coming down, the tops of your clouds are going to be lighter underneath and they kind of flatten out a little bit. So I might go in a horizontal direction just a little bit. Okay. Now, the question is, how much do you work back into this? Uh, only what's necessary. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, it. you can see it's already changing the look of uh, this. Now I'm going to make a little bit of horizon like uh, the edge of it is going to be at the bottom. Uh, hmm, maybe it's uh, uh, some uh, water. So I'm going to add a little bit of, of uh, an aqua color and come a straight across here. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more. All right. And now, because this piece is really, it's not um, stretched paper, you know, it's going to bow. Okay. Um, but that's okay. Now, here's what happened to our little clouds. Okay, you can see it lightened up a bit in here. Okay, and what I want to do to finish it off, uh, it's a simple little composition. Maybe um, have a little bit of the purple. Okay, and do a little bit of horizontal kind of. Okay. and a little more color down here all right and then um, maybe a little bit of um, quote-unquote land okay so a little bit darker green like so Maybe like a little bit of hills, sort of, over the clouds. Pull it a little bit darker in there. And I can do, you know, even a couple of uh, little tiny uh, layers. And uh, afterwards, on top of it, to make it kind of like um, I have... Um, you know, seascape. Sometimes you put those little tiny um, uh, birds, kind of like so. You know, uh, that's too that's too big. I'm just you know demoing it because this is still wet. Um, if I put them really tiny, like so. Okay, you know, a couple of little birds up here. Um, a little bit of, uh, you know, waves, horizontal, okay, really tiny um, composition here, there you have it, it's still um, a little bit wet, okay.